The vet said to try to get her on her chest, ASAP. Hi, we're Art and Bree. Four years ago, we left the city to buy a 100-year-old farm to turn it into our own productive homestead where we can grow our own food, build a healthy life, and raise our kids just how we like. I don't even want to be filming this, but I feel like we need to keep you up with our story. But the Alice is down, and I think she's got broken, I think the bull broke her back or something. I'm gonna try to go up there and get him off. I tried to drive him off of her. He's mounting her. He's like totally crazed and she's down in the pasture. Probably with a probably with a broken back or something because that's how she's acting. She was fine just like an hour ago. So I've gotta get the bowl off her. I tried driving him off with a stick and like did not get him off of her. I can't believe this is happening, to be honest. For those of you that have followed us for a long time, you know that our last and our first milk cow died from a very freak, <sighs> tragic accident, like something we had no control over. And, and like, Alice is down on her side, and I was sitting out here watching her just like two hours ago during quiet time, and she was fine. She looked great this morning, so the only thing I can think is that he was trying to mount her and he has broken something on her. I have a call into the vet, hopefully he'll call me back any minute, and he'll be out here soon. Our bull, we had him for a whole year, he was totally gentle and chill, even whenever he uh, mated her last year. It's just, there's is no Is going to be okay? I, I don't know. The bull is tied to my car. That's not what I want. Hey, 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 slow down. He's tied to my car by his both horns. That might seem cruel to you, but he was repeatedly mounting her and butting her to try to get her on his feet so he could mate her. I think he may have broken her back. I want to get him in the barn for safety's sake. There's no way I could get him away from her. The vet said to try to get her on her chest, ASAP. <laughs> Let's try to roll her, the spinner this way. That's surprising. I thought you were broken your neck. I wonder if she broke her leg. She's standing off that front leg. Good girl. Don't go down. Go. No, no, no. Go easy. Go easy. We're talking to the vet on the phone. The risk for the biggest risk when they're down like that, if if they haven't broken something, is that they can bloat and they can die like in an hour or two. So now that she's on her feet, she, I mean she's okay for a moment. The bull's down here and he's as angry if he breaks off there. Well, he's still he's still on. I need to get him down the hill into the barn here. Look at her. I flipped her around where her feet were down, and she struggled, but she stood up. Should I call him and tell him not to come? Uh, I don't know. Can we see her walk? Let me get the bull in the barn. I, she was, her eyes were rolled back, and she was like stiff. I want and you to talk to him when he answers. No, just, just tell him. 
It may seem extreme that I pulled the cow off her like that um, with a rope, but I tried my very best to drive him off with a stick. And we already saw this morning he's not interested in feed. Like I gave him a bucket of feed this morning, didn't even eat it. He tried to get in the barn the whole time. And he was literally jumping on her with his hooves and butting her with his head, trying to get her to stand so he could mate her. But I could not get him off her, and he I was afraid he was going to break her ribs. I hope he doesn't break her car. Um. There's nothing wrong with him. He's just a bully. I know, he's just doing what he's supposed to do. I think what doing. happened is he tried to mate her on the hill and knocked her down and, and then jumped on her again. I'm honestly not really sure how I feel about this. I'm not sure it's... I don't know. The vet's calling because I said, call me, she's up. Okay, hi. Um, I'm sure you just caught that message I left. I have no idea. I seriously... I mean, she looked dead in the field. I mean, she wasn't dead. Yes, and then we pulled him away, and she still didn't get up, still didn't get up. Arthur's working on getting the bull in the barn. I'm in shock right now. I'm thankful and in shock. I, the vet was on his way, but I called him back and said, she's up. She's eating, she's acting fine. Vet said that we need to go check her out thoroughly. So we're trying to get the, ball, the bull in this stall, this open stall. Or there's actually not in that stall. We're probably gonna have to change his name. Can you pull on it? I'm not pulling him anywhere. I'm just letting him come to me and shorten the rope. Oh. Arthur has it tied around this post so that it, he can't pull it. The bull is in the stall. Slow and steady. Always works. We found. What a Sunday. <laughs> okay, now that he's secured, we're going up to actually check on Alice properly and see how she looks. We didn't really show you the dramatic stuff today because. The urgency was just too high to actually get him off of her when he was mounting her. What are you feeding the horse? An apple for a little treat. So the vet's not going to come. Um, because she was standing. Yeah, because she's standing. But he said if we see her not eating or drinking, and if she acts sluggish in her back legs, we need to call him. Because it could be some... Uh, is that him making that noise? Hey, Daddy, it could be I'm some neurological you. issues. Daddy, I'm nerve, nerve issues. Is that her stomach or something? Hold on to the wall like it's the bowl. We need to make her stand up. Yeah, I know. Everyone back up. Everyone get way back down here. I should have brought grain, I guess. Come on. We can get her. Come on, Mama. Come on, Mama. Come on, Mama. Come on. Get up, girl. You can do it. Is that the front? Come on, girl. You got to get up. Oh, no. Come on, let's go. Get up, let's go. You can do it. I don't think that leg is broken, otherwise I think that, she, because she stood, I saw her stand on it. It always gets left random places. Yeah, it's the boring She hates being sprayed with ice cream. It's not gonna do it. Oh, 
Oh, this is like the same exact spot Dolly was at. Come on, Mama, let's go. Good job. There you go. And, and on her side, this is much safer. But she's from udders. Gotta be empty. Babies need to be fed. Let's go. Let me get it. Come on. I think it's pretty obvious she can't get up. There's been a lot of drama on the farm the last month. <laughs> so much drama. Yeah. So I just talked to the vet and he's um, he's saying what he would do tonight is give her banamine, which we have. Um, basically he's saying he thinks this is from a traumatic injury. I mean we know it's from a traumatic injury because we were literally, she's been really, looked really good. She's been in great health. She's been moving great. She's been eating great. She, she's great. She's healthy. The bull showed up. You you were watching her even an hour before yeah, this. Yeah, I think it was two hours for, before. For like half an hour. Yeah. Because the kids had a quiet time. Bree was outside sitting in the barn reading and watching her. And they looked, everyone looked fine except he was annoying her. And there's nothing we could do. This he's is, not an oversized bull. He's a, actually a small he's breed. a small breed. A, a, um, Dexter, I mean, sorry, a Jersey bull would actually be a little bigger. So and he bred her before. The, you know what happened? Is he caught her on the steepest part of the hill and knocked her down. Yeah. After a quiet time, Dad sent us all up to the garden to work in there, and then we saw the cow. Yeah, the kids were actually the ones who ran down and said, Alice is down, and the bull won't get off of her. So that's when we came outside. We would have filmed that part, but it was I just felt it was so urgent to actually get him off of her at the time. Yeah. So that wasn't what I was thinking is, oh, I need to <laughs> bring a camera. So what the vet's saying is, he says, this is, we know this is a traumatic injury. We don't know exactly what it is. I don't think she has broken anything because she's, she was able to stand and stepped on all her legs. And stood her, for over 10 her minutes. Her front right was nursed. shaken though. Her front right was like shaky. Okay. So it's possible she actually broke her front leg, but more likely she just hurt it. Um, so what he said he'd do if he came out tonight would be give her banamine. It's an anti-inflammatory and a pain med. We have that, so I'm going to give her that, and he told me the dose. Well, we're going to try to get her standing it in the morning. Hopefully some inflammation has gone down. She may stand up on her own as possible. And then if he needs to, he'll come out in the morning if she's not on her feet and can give her steroids would be his next thing to try to get inflammation down. Um, Man, I mean, it's a, it's a pain reliever too, right? It's an NSAID. Yeah, kind of like ibuprofen, <clears throat> right? Yeah, exactly. I asked him about the urgency of getting the cow on her feet, and he said, well, the longer she goes... It's worse the longer she goes, but he said overnight shouldn't be an issue. And he said that's what he's going to do is give her banamine. Here's the thing about standing her now. She was standing an hour ago. Less than an hour. So if we stand her now, there's no, she's going to lay down again to sleep. She's going to be in the same situation. So there's, I would have liked to have seen her stand now, but she can't stand now. I mean, obviously we have a cow and milk with two calves that need to be fed and she needs to be milked. What did he say about that? He said that you can try to pull her leg out of the way and lift her udder up, either hold it up with two hands or with a rope and just milk as much as you can. Now, they nursed while she was standing. Yeah, they did. I didn't, I didn't see, because I I'm turned to the bowl, I didn't see how long she was on her feet. I was watching almost the whole time. So they nursed. They nursed. So it's not like, it's not like they didn't nurse at all. I think we should check her udder. I'm going to go get her some corn socks. It's nice to see you enjoying something, Alice starting to get dark. I don't know how much longer um, we'll be able to film, but her udder is very soft. I wish I had seen how empty it was before um, she laid back down. But our channel is not usually this full of drama. <laughs> uh, maybe move the water out of the way so she doesn't knock it over. Yes. She's like, that's the stuff. This feels particularly intense. Um, I mean, it would be no matter what, but this is the exact spot. <laughs> Our cow, Dolly, was laying in when we couldn't get her up. She's not acting like Dolly, though. I mean, Dolly wouldn't eat, wouldn't drink. Um, just looked hor hor horrible. So I'm really hopeful that she's gonna be okay. 
And let's just hope we don't have any more goats get stuck in trees or cows. bulls try to make cows on sides of hills. <laughs> or who knows, I mean, it's just crazy how many things can happen that you would just never even think of. Oh, baby. It's gonna it's like be okay. This is like sh eating sugar cane. We're gonna take such good care of you, our darling Alice. We Mama? love you so much. She's on her feet. I'm coming out to give her band me. And she's standing up. Good girl. This is really, really good that she was able to stand up. It's funny, she wouldn't stand for us or couldn't. She tried over and over. But she got up. I brought her some more water because I don't think she can walk all the way down to the barn. She might not even be able to walk. She might just be balancing herself. Look at, she's holding that, she's not standing on that leg. She's not standing on that front leg there at all. That right front leg is the one that was shaky. That was easier than you thought. That was one. You gotta give her one more. Yep.